Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back, or should I say, welcome to the new Revolutions Esports. This is Season 1, um, we have two Division 1 teams, Halakoris and Ramen Renegade, both are on 4-0, so we're in for a nice game today, but don't worry, I am not casting alone, you don't have to listen to my voice the whole time. In fact, I have what I would like, like to say, the Bob Ross of the color world. It's going to be the tonight's color caster, Fuku, why don't you introduce yourself? Why, hello. Yes, I am Fuku. I am the color caster for today's game, and I am so, so excited. That's all I got. <laughs> Alright, so we do have two teams today. We have Halicores, or that's how we're going to be pronouncing this the entire, the entire time. I asked how they pronounce it, and, you know, I got it. And then we have Ramen Renegade. Now, I do have some prior experience to, to Ramen Renegade, and I feel like they definitely sort of fixed up what they're doing. So I, I think that we're going to be in for a really good game. Both teams have been teetering on the side of, um you know, not performing at their best, but you know, now that we're in a few games in, hopefully they're at the level of which, you know, th they've balanced out their level, you know, they're at the rank that they should have probably been at. So I'm looking for a nice clean game. It's an, I'm expecting a lot of push and pull um, team fights and just uh, really wrap it up in a nice, not, not wrap it up, but really get a, a, a nice game in tonight. What do you want out of this game, Fuku? I, I really just want to see a great game overall. I assume we're starting out on Kingsville. On Kingsville, I want some classic Ryan Zarya. I, it, you just don't see it enough anymore. I, I just want to see pure Ryan Zarya and just complete destruction from both teams. I want to see a good game. We should have control first, so we're going to have to wait a little while for the... Um, I think they're still picking maps, although... Oh, but, okay. Map has been taken. Probably, a, a lot of these teams prefer um, Li Zhang Tower just because... Wait a minute. Okay, what are we gonna get? Uh, we're um, we're just waiting for the mat to be chosen. But so, do you think that we're gonna see um a lot of meta plays, or do you think that because these teams are a little bit different, you know, a little bit flung from the far path, do you think that they're gonna be playing something off meta to try to catch their opponents off guard? Um, this is Division One of Evolution, and I would say, I would honest to God say that there probably will be some meta, but there might be some off meta kind of stuff as well. I on Lee Jong especially, I have seen a lot of hack this, believe it or not. But I, I imagine mm -hmm. that, you know, it's probably going to be pretty meta. Especially on something okay. like Control Center, where it's more than likely going to be Goat or Snopes. Yeah. You know, as a caster, I have to be honest, I am not the biggest fan of Goats. I mean, yes, can you run Goats? Then you, will I watch it? And like, I, yeah, I'll do it, but am I really? You have to get into different comps in order to, I feel, enjoy Overwatch. With Goats, it's all like, you know, whoever is like sort of like the, the most coordinated team sort of wins or like uh, it's it's so iffy with i don't just don't think it's yeah. fun to watch a goats game goats is, it's really dependent on like a bunch of olds olds just feel like they mean nothing and they're pretty much just thrown out constantly because you get them so fast like yeah, trans is yeah. chances can either save everyone and they can do nothing grabs can either kill everything or they can do nothing and etc etc that's just how it feels mm -hmm. it feels like every single old either has no impact or it has too much impact which really makes it kind of fluctuating i guess definitely definitely and you know so just looking at you know these two teams who do i expect to be popping off well i know from ramen running i did see udon oh they actually don't have carpe from the last one so they don't have one of their i feel one of their better dps that they had um subbing in for them for one of the last tournaments or last matches so ramen running game might be a little bit of uh, lacking on the dps but their tank game is just so good i have yet to see a well, I have seen teams, but it's really hard to match Robin Renegades, you know, their tanks at, at the very least. Although they could use a tad bit more coordination. And it seems like the first map is going to be Nepal. So what do you expect to see out of these two teams on Nepal? Um, it really just depends on which map specifically we are starting on. If we are starting with the indoor map, which is Sanctum, if I remember correctly, we will more than likely see a Hog Vista, you know. If we are on the outdoor map, uh, God, what was the name? can't remember off the top of my head but it's the one with the pillar in the middle you know if it's mm -hmm. that one i i tend to see a lot of goats on that map i tend to also see some triple dps depending on like but that's kind of it. it's either goats or counter goats mostly on that map so when a team runs triple you know i i don't really see that much triple dps when a team runs triple dps what do you expect to see off of them um what, what do you expect to do with the triple dps what if i see triple dps it's mostly just ran to counter goats because goats they don't usually have the ability to kill that many DPS just because, you know, movement abilities, all that kind of stuff. I, whenever I see triple DPS, depending on if they have a Sombra, I see big plays between Barrage and EMP mainly. It's mainly focused on just 
Hanzo, or the pair are usually in triple DPS. That's usually like the biggest yeah. issue. So here we are going to be start starting off with Nepal, like I said. Um, so when the load, it seems that like we are going to be getting that outdoor map that you were talking about. Yeah. So I I do want to see triple EPS. I am a big fan of triple EPS and, you know, watching it run. I also am a really big fan of watching teams try to do... I just love watching Hammond. But you, you need to run Hammond right. I don't want to see, like, pop Hammond up. You know, throw your grab look on the middle thing and just ring around the rosy. That's a little bit... Two yeah, it's no skill it's not for me. Really, I want to yeah, see a skill for Hammond. Yeah, I want to see a Hammond that goes in, you know, makes massive amounts of space for the team and is able to allow the DPS on their team to pop off. Because a Hammond is like probably the most important part in a DPS comp like that, except for probably Mercy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it seems like from the side of Ramen, we're going to be seeing a far Mercy, an Ash, a Lucio. So. I think we were talking about um, triple DPS. They're, they're going with Sombra, so I, I, a little bit of a divey thing. And what are we seeing off the side of Haraku? Or um, what's that name? Habakus. Ah oh, man, I just forgot. <laughs> yeah, but it seems I was correct. It is both goats and triple DPS. Although with an Ash, interesting enough. So here you see the first one. I do see the Hammond off on the side on team. I mean to. Just trying to see where he can possibly create some space as we do get a huge pushback coming off from Ramen. Ramen just completely denying the Harafush team from the pushing them straight back to spawn. So now, now they're forcing switches. Now they're going a little bit more divey. You see Spicy going on to Winston. Deco switching off or Deco switching off to sort of a Moira. So what, what, what were those switches for? Uh, it was definitely just because they were running triple DPS. They seemed to went dive of Sombra. Now, of course, this does not necessarily, like, counter triple DPS, but it is definitely an okay comp against it. This, this will definitely work out for them. Especially you have if you something. Well. Yeah, we have some engagements on, on the top. Tanks go in, but far as the Oh, what a great hack! Wisp got off onto, go onto Udon right there, but watch out. As soon as the hack's over, Udon does have barrage, so watch out for that as Ramen is just sort of slip, sniping off on the side thing. Spicy's also going to be able to get two picks off onto Gohan and Harsumi, so heal and allow DPS gone. They, they need to do something because if Ramen Renegade sort of stays still, they sort of try to test point. And there it is. There are two picks coming off, allowing Harsume to take the point. Yeah, Ramen Renegades, which I assume is the purple one. Yeah, that is okay. Ramen Renegades, uh, they literally just split up the Farah away from it, the rest of the team. And even though the Farah didn't die, she did get split off and she wasn't able to do the damage that they needed to break the comp that they were facing. Which just allowed, you know, Hawakius, Hawak, Hawak, I don't know. That team, <laughs> they, it just allowed that team to go on ahead and just do whatever they wanted and just yep. go in and kill the hammer. Yeah, here we have the both, both the dive tanks sort of seeming to wait for Udon to come in, but was, when people dive in the point, they're just going to dive in with it. We do see Udon. I'm just going to focus on Udon right now, because Udon's doing so much work right now, but we, three all sort of come off on the side of Harusume. They try to do whatever they possibly can. They do pop the bombs, are getting popped off. Also, we do see, you know, Transcendence, not Transcendence, but versus all end off for Ramen Renegade as they got get pushed back one more time from Harusume, but we do see a little bit more of contention coming on. They're trying to do whatever they possibly can. Huge hack coming off, getting all five teammates, except Salsa, who's already dead, along with, it seems like, a Lucio beatdown right now, as Harusume is getting completely pushed back. You know, they don't care if they're getting pushed back or not. We do see Humongous, we do also, okay, Barrage also coming in from Udon. You know, it's a sort of back and forth team fight fireworks are being popped right now. The whole one, two coming off from both teams. This is going to go to Ramen Renegade. Um, actually, no, I didn't go to Ramen Renegade, did it? I don't yes, think it did. did. Oh, okay. Ramen well, Ramen... Okay, well, Ramen Renegade's, uh... I thought Ramen, Ramen Renegade's was the purple team. Whatever. Ramen Renegade's, uh... Or rather, the purple team, they really did just kind of suffer a lot from not following up on that EMP from, uh, from Gohan. Oh, well, from Wisp, rather. Sorry, my bad. Uh, Wisp. And Wisp was able to just, you know, they just didn't follow up on the EMP, it's literally just that simple. And that so we do see for... Mercy. Yeah, so, so, so Mercy is popping her ult to try to, um, in giving your team the healing that she needs, because they know that, you know, 
They're coming in hot as they pop. Three of their ults are trying to do whatever they possibly can. Wisp coming close on an EMP. Watch out. Ev literally everyone on the team of Robin Renegade. Because you do not want to be in town for this. As we see Frostbite, who loves seeing the men coming in with the... Oh my god, it's getting really big right here. We do see Robin Renegade get backing up. They want to stay in control of this point. But as it hits 90% and he starts thinking about oh, oh, going in. They don't want to lose this. Now, I, I would try to put a lot of money on Udon right now. Who has Barrage. Who should be looking in. Gohan comes in. Doesn't get hacked. Now we have both EMPs coming off. Expect Barrage. Oh, but Barrage doesn't work as Ace is able to take out Udon right there with the self-destruct. And this seems as if it's going to be going to Harusume as the fight is tied up with a little bow on top. Alts are getting popped. This is most likely going to be going to Harusume. Yeah, Harusume, they really played that incredibly well, all things considered. Like, they were able to just punish the DPS. They, like, the DPS just could not do anything. They just, they kept shooting into them, right? Trying the best, popping ults left and right, left and right. But Hosume was just able to keep popping ults back and just played better all together, really. I would definitely say MVPs of that match were probably, honestly, the Winston, believe it or not. And this, both Sambas played incredibly well as well. I could definitely say that something that Rami Minigates could have done better is probably well focus the same kind of target because there was a lot of points where the ferret and the ash especially were just on completely different sides of the map which while yes does make sense to a certain extent they just weren't focusing the same targets and whenever two different high damage dps's are focusing two different targets it doesn't really matter because neither of those targets are going to die whenever it comes to this kind of thing mm -hmm. So here we, we seem to have, you know, similar comps. Soman isn't on, or actually Udon sort of switched off to Brigida. We do have a McCree and Ramen, and um, Zenyatta on the side of Ramen, and a switch off to Ana, Zarya, and Frostbite. So we just see that Frostbite takes an early halt down to the face by Jordis, as well as Wisp. Ramen Renegade right gets huge boops right here. That's going to lead them to having a sort of easy setup right now. Two of the people do fall down, but Deco is going to be next next to be booped right now. It seems like all the kills coming off from Ram, Ram Renegade are boops, and by pure boops alone, they're able to win that fight. Huge, huge boops. Yeah, massive boops from both teams. The was able to get an early pull along with the Lucio getting a big old boop, and then even getting another boop after that. Just absolutely great boop play, without a doubt. Yeah, you don't need to do that much damage with the boops. All you need to do is hit them off, and they need to be wary, because I, I would not be... Come for walking right right back into a halt again. Probably the only thing that can truly one shot any character in the game. So seems seem like they're going for a little bit of a flank path right here with the Reinhardt shield. So they're planning to sort of bunker down, try to do whatever they possibly can. But I feel like, ooh, the hook barely missing Deco right there. A huge, oh, Ace almost falling out. So it just seems, that definitely seems like we have a tug of war play right now. A huge anti's coming off from both sides as spicy salsa is going to be falling down to Harvey's sick boops. They need to watch out. These boops are a little bit too good on both sides of the team as Frost is able to take out Gohan. God, okay, so both teams need to sort of watch out for these boops as it is mainly a tug of war thing. What I'm mainly not seeing is I'm not seeing focus fire, but it seems like you really don't need focus fire on the side of ramen when you have huge boop potential like they do is Udon. Straight up mopping the floor right now, getting everyone who does who she does she doesn't want out of the fight. Who needs team play whenever you just you know boop somebody off the map now? Like come on, who who needs team play? Yeah, that's definitely what I'm seeing. Seventy three percent. They're getting really close. Yeah, definitely. A lot of ults coming in. Like a lot of ults are going to be coming in next fight. Maybe Nano Ryan probably. Or Nano um, break. I see. I see that a few times. Here comes a halt in the okay halt that doesn't happen. We do get bongos as well. We do get a dead eye too. God, they're going for everything. Spice is all they have to wait a while. Huge shadow comes in. Oh, but the rider falls down because they're to make them again. Oh, it's huge right now. Spice also falls down. Boss fight and whisper are able to get a double pick off right there as the fight continues to go on. We do see a roadhog just shoving it into his gun, trying to take out possibly whoever he possibly can. The boops are not good enough, as it does seem like Harusume is going to be able to take the point. Hosume was finally able to capture the point. They were able to avoid the boops, even though the Nano Reinhardt got booped off. Luckily, they were able to save it with a variety of ults. Just, they had a massive ult advantage over Ramen Renegades, it would seem. But no, actually, no, they did not. They had the opposite of that. But they were able to make it work just with good team play all together. Mm -hmm. It seems that they're going for early aggressive push as well. 
Yeah, they're using teen men, right? Coming, trying to come in here. Huge grab as well, but the shield might stay up a little bit too long. Nope. Even if it's up, you can't stop it. Team kill coming off from the sides of Harusume. Yeah, very aggressive push there. Riz was able to was able to really make that work just by grabbing them. They did not have the ult in time in order to stop it from happening. Which, but now look at Ramen Renegades. They are coming in with three separate ultimates, possibly even four. Versus, well, yeah, they're coming in with three ults as well. Actually, Harusume. Hmm. This could really be anyone's game. It just depends on. How many ults are going to be popped here, and who can play them better? Yeah, both sides are trying to play. Both sides are playing, you know, ex extremely well. I would say I want to see some more team play coming off from the side of Ramen Renegade. But with all, oh my God! Okay, Gohan, you can stop now. The boops are, are getting a, a little bit too good right now. And I, I swear, Deco seems to have a Oh, Gohan, stop! The boops are too good. No matter how good your antis are, Deco. If your team isn't there to capitalize on it, it doesn't matter. As Ramen Renegade is going to be taking this map. Yeah, it would seem that that was just boop central, like absolute just destruction thanks to those boops. It was it was good play, and I feel like Hausume could have definitely played a lot more around those boops rather than just letting them happen repeatedly. Lucio was really being aggressive. He could have been he could have been stunned by the way. He could have been stopped before all that happened, but it just didn't happen, sadly. And here, okay, I love seeing this. So now we're on village and just seeing Udon switch off to the May as a May main who is underrepresented in every single culture of Overwatch. I'd love seeing myself a few Mays. Hmm. Interesting. They're running the notes on this specific map. I, I have seen this before, but I don't actually see it that often. Very interesting. While on the other side, they're running, well, classical on a goes. Mm -hmm. So we do have both sides going off the high ground. This seems to be the move that anyone will make. Actually, I was- I'm incorrect. We do see Team Harusume. They're going for low ground. Although, I- I honestly sort of prefer high ground for this map. Yeah, Udon's looking up for that wall, but he's not gonna see it, as there's no one to actually wall off. The movement straight up on the point. Now, what we're looking for is we're looking for a really big team play by Udon. Yep, there we go, right there. So, huge- uh, not that good of a wall, but it, you, you plan just, just to cut off the team to do a lot of damage, and it wasn't particularly good in that place. It's spicy salt is able to get two picks off right there. And unless we can get sort of a comeback coming in from Ramen Renegade, it's not going to be worth it. Yeah, as we just sort of see them get collapsed on as Frostbite finishes up. They were, yeah, Ramen was definitely relying on the fact that they were going high ground like most teams would, especially with GOATs. But instead, but instead they just didn't go high ground, they just went low ground, which is, you know, we just kind of stopped the Mei from using her wall effectively. But let's well, see. The Mei wall can... The Maywall could still be used effectively. You should just try to CC the team off, cut them in half, but... Yeah, yeah, exactly. Seems like there was it a can't little... be used as effectively, that's the thing. Yeah, yeah. We do see um, Brigida pronounce her love for team men as they go in for this fight. Okay, that was a, a really good wall, but it is going to get cancelled out by the fact that Ram Renegade is going to be playing Transcendence as well. So it gets picked off as well because the Ana is just a little bit too good. The, the team play I see coming in from... Harusume is just a little bit too good right now. Yeah, definitely. Harusume just, they're working as a unit. Even whenever they get walled off, they just, they go back, they help the people who got walled off, and just go in as a team. They're, they're definitely playing as well as they possibly can right now. Mm -hmm. As we go in for this next fight, I'm surprised they haven't sw swapped off May yet. At this point, most teams will sort of have stopped yeah, running May. Yeah, they're going to be going for top ground, I, high ground. As much as I do love May, I would... I'll, they're probably wait, wait for ult to pop off, but... I'll probably wait for this. They are, they are gonna go in. Brigida prompts her, her love for teen men. Goes in for the next fight. Okay, now it's a really good main wall. With only Ace, only not being able to escape, they're gonna be able to get a really nice pick off for this fight as the grab also comes in. We do see a few more ults. Oh my god, every single ult that they had in the book is getting popped off right now. Hot dish popping off everything possibly, but it doesn't matter as Team Ramen Ray gets to be able to completely sweep up the team. Yeah, that's what they wanted to do with the Maywall since the very beginning. Stop, completely separate a few select people so they just immediately assassinate them. But sadly, that just didn't happen in the other two fights. But now, this is much better because now May is on the point. So they might actually be able to clutch this back. Especially since they still have Mayo and even Lucio. Yep, so the next engage starts in being led by Spicy Salsa right now. It seems like they're only going to engage with Brigida's ult right now. Huge wall again, they have Spicy Salta sort of off for the rest of the crowd. That's exactly how you want to use Udon's ult, that's exactly how you want to play that game. They're gonna, they're gonna pop Blizzard as well to use that CC to not only sort of 
make it so they can get a few more picks off, but so that you can discourage the rest of the team from going in. That team fight was all May. May was able to wall off the right and immediately get him killed, and then even use her ult to zone off the rest of the team and get the big kill. Mm -hmm. She single handedly won that team fight, and they are. And while I'm Renegade, it's still coming up on a bunch of ults. And Hawasumi, they also have a bunch of ults as well, but they do not have grab yet, which is pretty much the biggest win condition. Yeah, as we go to the ne this next fight, again, same thing. I expect to see that Spicy is a little bit more, you know, cautious about how he's going to go in. The main wolf wasn't that good that time, only letting, you know, the entire team get through. We do see a nuke come in from the side of Hawasumi. It doesn't really get out. It does get Udon out, so it's actually pretty much that to go on. But Ram Renegade, they're holding, they're holding their their point. You know, they put the stake in the ground and said, "You will go no further than this." As they, they took up the ninety, there's only around maybe one, maybe two team fights. Yeah, uh, no, there is probably only one left because they're probably gonna early grab him right here. It'll just stop him from even getting yep. on that point. That's exactly what they. Great did. grab, stopping them. Oh, he doesn't go into overtime because guess what? A hot dish was able to get on point, but. You know, when you're when you're just CCing up this much by that May, you should really watch where you go. Ramen Renegade getting a, a few too many picks for the liking of Team Harus and May as overtime ticks down over and over and over again. It's seeming less and less likely that Harus and May is going to be able to get back. And the first game is going to be going, the first map is going to be going to Ramen Renegade. Good job. Congrats to Ramen Renegade. They were able to clutch that back. The May. Most teams probably would have switched off the May after the first two failed pushes, but they were able to make it work. They just needed that one opportunity, and I just have to get pops to the May. Here we're seeing a really nice play by Grips. <laughs> I swear, that grab was so good. Ryan did nothing here. Ryan just swung his hammer. Yeah, he got really, shot. He, that was yeah. really great team play, though, I have to admit. Yeah, good team play. At first, it was a bit shaky, you know? Like, the triple DPS comp was... Eh. It was okay, but it could have definitely been a lot more focus-based. They didn't focus the same targets, but Robin Renegade really pulled the game together and were able to clutch it at the end. Definitely. And I think next map should be Escort, if I'm correct, although I, I might be wrong. As the next game is going to be getting soon. I do believe that the map pick is going to be going to... Oh, Halle Shores. Harusume. Oh, we've been saying Harusume because they're on yeah. team. Yeah. Oopsie. <laughs> Halle Chorus is actually the team of blue team. Sorry for the miscommunication we had that for that entire round. The, the team is a, a little bit too... Team name's a little bit too complicated for our simpleton minds, but I'm sure that, yeah. you know... We're not team enough. Rocious. Halle Chorus. Team Biv. Halle Chorus? Halle Chorus, there we go. Yes, team Halle Chorus is definitely big, big brain enough to just stick up say their own name so we are waiting for the next map pick to come in what do you think happened on the did ramen renegade pick up pick up their team play because there there was lacking what i feel for most of that yeah for most uh, of the, I, those maps i would say that the first map they were definitely lacking in team play second second map it was honestly all boops to be frank there wasn't much team play needed they just really kept getting boopy kind of picks with both roadhog halt constant Lucio boops and then the third map I would say the team play really was going well because they were mainly playing around the May so they had like one core thing they had to focus around in order to win every single fight the May wall and whatever that didn't work they had backup plans so I would definitely mm -hmm. say it did pick up but not necessarily for the correct reason it picked up yeah. because they were playing May not really because they were you know necessarily getting better at communicating yep and we do have a switch off as we go to escort on Dorado. We are getting a uh, we are getting a sub from Gohan to Carpe. Now, if I am, if I re remember correctly, Carpe is a really good um, competitive, not competitive, a really good McCree. I see him play. I I've watched him play McCree. I've watched him play Widowmaker. He's consistent in how he shoots, and I think adding him to Ramen Renegade, while might be a good choice for the the short term. Might be a, a. I don't know how Carpe works with the team. They also are switching out um, J Rod for Gumi. Yeah. Hmm. So just switch, just switch up, up the teams. I know that Ramen Renegade really does um, like switching up. Ramen Renegade hard switches their teams. So it seems like they have different people for different maps. 
Yeah, it would definitely seem like it. That's and Udon for foe. Considered. They are switching everyone. Though. They're, just, they're switching Udon for foe as well. They're they're on the whole nine yards. They're switching everything. Dang, seems like Udon is a Sombra player. Sombra main, so big hacks. Come. We might see Hack Fist. I wouldn't be surprised. Hack Fist. Um, have they picked a map yet? It's Dorado from what I know. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, it would seem like it. Hmm. If they are winning Dorado, then Hack Fist on Dorado. I have actually never seen that before. Hmm, that's pretty interesting, all things considered. I have never seen a Hack Fist on Dorado. So if so, they do run Hack Fist there, that'd be interesting. I think if Ramen, if think if Ramen Renegade had the choice, they'd pick Rialto. That would work really good for Hack, Hack Fist. Yeah, definitely. That would go great for Hack Fist. Uh, excuse me, sir. You can't play in this area. Dude, Rialto, the map that is known for its first point holds. Yeah, Rialto. In my opinion, it's personally one of my favorite maps. Rialto. I, I have fun on it. It's it's just a good map overall. It's definitely better compared to some of Blizzard's other maps, such as Horizon or Blizzard World or, God forbid, Paris. Hmm. Yeah, I'm... I just don't like the Rialto is just a weird map to play because of it. It's has so many full holds on it, you know. Yeah, it's really powerful for bunker all things considered. But at the same time, it's also one of the few dive maps you can still run dive effectively on. Mm -hmm. So to me, as a personal Genji main, <laughs> I I like it. <laughs> of course, Genji main, you got six skill. Got to yeah, go yeah. fast, dive in fast, get them picks, dive out. Yep, the faster you go, the better. You don't need to die out. You don't need to dive out if you die while fighting the enemy. I mean, hey, if you get two picks every time you die, that's technically a positive. Net positive, dog. If you're on defense and it's second point and it's... You don't need to really live. A one-for-one -one trade is proper on defense. <laughs> Obviously. Although, I am kind of curious as to what exactly is going to be run on Dorado. Because I do see quite a few different comps on Dorado. I see Bunker a lot on first point. Bastion point. Bunker. I need Bastion yeah. Bunker. I need my fix. I need my fix tonight. You gotta give me my fix. Come on. Bastion Bunker, dude. I I don't see it too often on Dorado, but it does happen sometimes. And it's always just as cheesy as it is on something like, I don't know, Junker Town where you're winning pirate ship, you know? Mm, it's always so good. I, I just love seeing Bastion whenever he's played. Yeah. It's interesting to see how teams react to the Bastion, in my opinion. Not necessarily seeing the Bastion play, because, you know, he just sits still and shoots. But it's interesting to see if teams can handle... How do team go around handling a uh, Bastion on Bunker? Mm, I mean, there's quite a few different ways. A uh, common way that I know of, especially on the ladder, would mainly be, like, something along the lines of a really big combo that can just shut them down such as like emp blade or emp grab you know just a really big combo that team wipes them because the weakness of bunker is well rather bastion bunker is that once you destroy it once you kind of have to switch off it unless you know for a fact you can save it with ults That's definitely and yeah we had a little we have a little bit of technical issues as carpe has left the game yeah, that's oh, yeah, he, he, disconnect, he disconnected, so I don't know how long, much longer we're, we're going to wait. Hmm. According well, to rules, they have a five minute uh, time bank to get him back in the game. Hmm. Okay. Or they're going to continue. Oh, there we go. He's back. Okay, that was fast. Your three seconds of the time minutes. bank is even used up. You have four minutes, 57. Oh, okay. Another one. Oh. <laughs> According to according to the rules, if Carpe does not come back in, we're legally allowed to leave after 15 minutes. We are legally allowed to leave. That is indeed correct. Well, uh, I guess I'll take this time to talk a little bit about, uh, maybe a little bit about the transition. Um, I just want to thank everybody for, for following us here and 
coming to our new community and, and supporting us and um, believing in the, the leaders that hopefully uh, you guys think that OW um, is a great thing, a great gameplay and um, our OW community is a, a, game, a great uh, place to exist in. Um, we have a lot more coming. Uh, we 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 want to do a whole lot more than we are right now. Um, it's just we literally just had what we'll call revolution um, like less than five days ago. So it's a uh, it's going to take a little bit to get where we want to be and get back to where we were. Um, but uh, all in due time, uh, we have we have great plans and we hope to uh, really involve as many members in the community as possible and really uh, get as much uh, uh, events and, and prizes and all kind of cool things that we have planned for you guys in the future. So hopefully it'll be really cool and uh, we, uh, we grow as a community and everybody's uh, all huggy-dory and we all become and we all we all get together and do kumbaya around the campfire. But the match is starting, right, so just... I'm gonna stop talking and let these guys do the job. Yep, it seems no. from both sides. Yeah, sorry, no, you go ahead. Man. You know, this is Overwatch. It's not gonna be a kumbaya. It's gonna be a toxic kumbaya. Someone's gonna play Bastion and kill us all. Let's be honest. We are seeing the Bastion. Oh no, I thought we did see that. I, I saw Bastion coming off the side, but it seems like they, they switched off. As the first fight comes in, we didn't really get, get to talk about the teams that much, but it sort of seems like they're both running, you know, similar, yeah. com similar ish comps. A little bit of a, a Brigitte Lucio will come out from the side as we do. Oh my god, Hearts just comes out, sweeps the floor, and takes the first fight. Yeah, really. No contention. Yeah, really aggressive play. Like, Robin Renegades was just not expecting them to be holding right in front of the red building. They were able to just shove into them and, you know, and just kind of destroy them. Even though they had a Samba, which technically they should have had an advantage here, they were able to just kind of do that. Oh my god, Ramen! Got the straight up dinks on the Deco right there. Going in, Reinhardt getting a really good charge on the, spicy, on the Frostbite right there. Now, the, now they're coming in, now they have the advantage, now they're doing real damage. Yeah, massive pick for Ramen, pretty much just like honestly, what what can you do against Zenyatta right pick sometimes? Sometimes it just one shots you and you just lose the fight instantly, you know? It's really unfortunate, but, but you know, that's fine. I'm sure I'm sure how <laughs> uh how it course. How it course, yeah, I'm sure how it course can definitely come back. Especially since how course is currently coming up with a bunch of ults. Oh wow, yeah, they're gonna come in there loving their team men, going in to just do straight up damage on them right now. Gumi, you better watch out. He doesn't have shatter though. So the Ryan games are about to come in. Great shatter coming off from Gumi right there. Taking out almost the entire team of Hardcore. As well as the Hakam on the hostage. So you know that is going to be no breaking down coming in for them right now. Great team play. That is the type of plays I want to see coming from Ramen. Yeah, most definitely. It was a, it was a great play from Ramen. And, and oh, wait. Ace is popping off. Double pit. Oh, Ace is... Never mind. Let me just control... um Delete that real quick because that was... A little bit dirty, acing up a double kill, game back in the mech. Now this, this is how you hold, boys. You get them cheese strats with uh with Ace. Ace already has um self destruct too. Yeah, that that was a very messy team fight. It seems that Robin Gates did come out on top and might be able to cap it right now. No, they were not. Yep, I de definitely expect Ace to pop. Um, thought thought she was gonna pop self destruct right there as. Almost all the ults come off from both teams, the grabs and transcendences off the teams. As we do see, self the truck. Ah, oh, but a little bit poorly timed right there. A little bit too high, not low enough. As we do see Digo, Digo on the high ground, dishing out damage right now. Digo, stop! <laughs> as Argus Amaze said, nah, get back on the low ground. Boops him right back down to where he belongs as Gohan's gonna just get picked off. Yeah, a lot of ults coming from uh, Harakos. Of course, they just popped a lot of ultimates. They had a slight ultimate advantage over Ramen. Now, the good news for Ramen is that they are currently coming in with Rally, while uh, Harkoas only have Lucio to defend this area for one whole minute. And Bo might even come up on to this uh, BMP if they farm fast enough, yeah. but honestly. I think so this team might definitely... Yeah, this team... Uh, so they're gonna come in with their Rally about how much they're 15 men. And Frostbite is going to be, seems, seems to be the first person. They're not really racking up. Okay, they're, now the EMP is down there. 
huge GMP getting off four people. Frostbite and Spice Celso are going to be falling down, are going to be the first people to fall down as the rest fall down like a suit of cards. Wiz trying to hold on to whatever he possibly can, but the, he's not going to pop the grab. If he, pop, if he pops the grab, it's going to be a botched. All of 20 seconds falling in, and they will be getting to the first point. Yeah, that was a good hold for Hawkeye, though. Like, all things considered, they were able to get out a lot of ultimates from Climbing Minigates and even hold it almost to overtime. Currently, uh, Hawkeye is they're coming up on to the grab, they're coming up on Rally, Trans, Bomb, even. While on the side of Climbing Minigates, they're also coming up on their own grab, but they might. But they only have a chance, and possibly a Lucio to defend against all these ults coming up from Hollow Forest. Mm -hmm. Now we see, oh my god, Gummy's getting hella damage right now, but the healing's a little bit too good. We just see the graph come in. Oh, the huge Deco, stop! Stop it, it's too good! Your damage is too much! Yeah. Ramen was on payload all by himself. They immediately got grabbed, and Ramen, he just didn't pop chance because he was all the way at the card. There was no point. It, it's unfortunate for Ramen Renegade, but Hollow Forest. Good play from Wiz, absolutely beautiful grab. Yeah, definitely. As we do- Oh my god, they have huge ultimate advantage too. Yeah, like Hawkeye's that one grab single-handedly just put them in the lead ultimate advantage. Although- Yeah. Yeah. They kick D.Va off of high ground right now as they- as we, we do see Frostbite try to rally, but no sort of team to back her up right there, but team or not, Ace is just gonna mop it up like she always does, getting a huge damage off right there, holding it, and we, as, we, as we almost at the one minute mark, they haven't really been able to push it too far. Yeah, but the good news for Ramen Minigates is that they now are coming up on six entire ultimates. If they play this right, then they might be able to win every single fight with only two ultimates. And that's yeah, a yeah. solid three te te team fight. So this is still completely winnable by Ramen Minigates. So you just yeah, have to look it out of ult. Look at Ace right now. Look how frantic he is, or she is. She's looking for everyone she possibly can. She's doing just solo ult Deco. Deco needs to, get, needs to get taken out. They, they pop grab. They're popping almost every single one of their alts, which I wouldn't say is they. Oh, you really only need three alts, as now they only have so many rally right now. Uh, Bomb. even though even though they did win that fight, I felt it was yeah. a little bit too much. Yeah, sadly, Ramen now only has one ult remaining. They only have Wriggle. While on the side of Hair Color, course, they they have an entire chance and coming up on Lucio. They are uh, an absolute massive advantage right now. Yep, and seems like that someone's gonna use all. She's gonna try to rally up with everything, but the transcendence comes in at, at the perfect time. No one on his team is going to die today, as the damage is now getting dealt really hard. We do see Spicy Zelda pop out the shatter, but Harsome is gonna be on that damage there, making sure that no one leave right now. Bo, oh my God, backline tragedy right now. Heck, everyone she could possibly see into her eyes, as it definitely seems like Robin Renegade is cleaning up this fight, meaning that they are gonna be able to get the second point. Byron Minigate, like, Byron Minigate, Fine. they, that was a pretty close fight all taking considered, and oh my god. So, did, was that a fat finger? Did, or was it, like, BM? Like, oh Was that wow. big brain play, was that big brain play from Spicy? Wow, absolutely fantastic EMP, able to get the Reinhardt who was in the middle of charge, securing the kill for her team, or his team. I, that's what felt more like a botched. Uh, definitely a botch. <laughs> but now, uh, but now I'm going to indicate they're at a big ult disadvantage because of that. Yeah, huge right now. As we see, you know, they're going to rally into their, they're going to rally into the grab to initiate, and that's going to be a team kill right there. No questions asked. Yeah. Ryan Renegades, they use the shatter. They no longer have that. So now they're at even more of an ult disadvantage. Although, Ryan Renegades are coming up on two support ults. But the thing is, by the time they come up on both the support ults, they, like they, but the enemy team's gonna also have two supporters, and they're even gonna have bomb. It might even have shattered by this fight. So really, they're still at a big ult disadvantage, all things considered. Yeah, but they do have transcendence. Transcendence can negate two ults if you're really good with it. Yeah, well, let's just see. Timing. Yeah, let's see how this rolls out. They're hitting 20 seconds, so there's this last team fight. They need to hope that they can pop off right now. Watch Spicy Stolza, watch how he plays. It's, okay, Bo's in the back line, trying to get a lot of damage off right now. They, they do pop the grab. Oh, but Reinhardt's able to straight up take that bomb out of play, make sure no one else can get get on both teams. So Deco was hacked, he now has ability to, to trans, and he's going to do it exactly when he wants to. Gummy's falling a little bit low, watch out Gummy, because if he gets taken out, it's going to be lost for your team. Oh, barely gets saved right there, as Frostbite's going to fall, Gummy's going to fall. Ooh, okay, so we do see Ramon and Ryan. they are going to be able to win this fight, but they need to also win the next fight.
Yeah, Dummy definitely MVP of that specific fight. He was able to block the bomb and then instantly 180 and block a shatter and even get a pick onto one of the enemy supports before he died. Absolutely great play for Dummy. And overall, that was great play from my Renegades. Even at being a, at an ult dis deficit and disadvantage, they now have an ult advantage over the enemy team. Oh, what a huge EMP as well as they walked in for a click Q at the perfect point. And to make it up for his little botch play later, they're going to try to rally to try to fix up whatever, but I think that would have been rather safe for another fight. As they pushed the cart slowly, they are going to be able to get to the third point at 0-0. Zero, zero. I could definitely say that I feel like Foe has redeemed themselves for that completely botched DMP earlier. So congrats to Foe, was able to secure that final team fight for, for their team. Redemption yeah, is always redemption. possible in Revolution Esports. It's a redemption arc. No, honestly, redemption art for... <laughs> for Foe, easy clap. So, mm -hmm. from what I saw, it was a little bit of a rough push. I ex from what I saw, unless anything out of the ordinary happens, I'm going to predict that Holly Corcus is going to Holly Corcus, how do you say their name? Is going to be able to what? Holly Corcus, that's how you say it. Holly Corcus is going to be able to push at maybe two minutes. Hmm. Yeah, I mean like it really is just dependent on how well Ramen Minigate is able to hold all together. Because even though they were able to get all the way to the end. They still were just, you know, completely just stopped in the tracks at many points. So, you know, like, this this is looking pretty good for how our all things considered. What I'm looking at, what I want to see out of Ramen Renegade is I want to see better ult management. Yeah, definitely. A lot of, like, wasted potential, a lot of wasted ult. Like, there was so many team fights they could have just straight up won without needing all those ultimates. And we just gave Hardcore as a massive ult advantage throughout the pretty much the entire game, really. Yeah. As the clock counts down, we are going to be seeing a Junkrat. I haven't seen Junkrat in a while, so let's see how they're going to be able to run. Actually, I have seen Junkrat. I should remember seeing him in the last meta, which is why it's so new to me. We are yeah. going to be seeing... Oh my god. Okay, so I just expect uh, some... Watch Ace. Because Ace might just jump in try to disrupt that sort of back line that's what i expect is going to happen right now it's, there we go so we do have the switch to posi positions right now you know really great play by ramen when you move out of the way you abandon high ground to get a different high ground a more favorable position that this sort of discounts ace oh my god that was a huge nano i mean anti now now i saw that Whew, four people but it's, it's a little bit hard as Wiss is going to be falling down first. The offense is slowly going to be, be crippled away on this choke point. They're backing up, getting ready for next fight. Yeah, just honestly, Abyssa Hog, just an absolute great combo, especially on this map where they could just, <clears throat> where they could just spam at the shield, Ash helping out, and Junkrat especially. Junkrat, surprisingly enough, working really effectively whenever, you know, Junkrat hasn't been meta in a good while, you know? So it's just yeah. really interesting. So now, now they're, they're taking a different plan of approach. They're going to go from the back line. And I, I can respect this. Let's see how this is going to work out for them. I feel like you really need to put a lot of pressure on Hot Dish to speed incorrectly as we... Oh, okay, Spicy, you're away from your team. Hot Dish gets taken out by Gummy right there. Back out because there's no way you're going to win that fight. Yeah, so far these fights have been... Seem to purely be decided oh, just by... Oh, and the pick off on the ace. God, so dirty. That's going to that's gonna be a big stack, to say the least. Well, they're not going to stagger her, but they're going to be able to get her out of, uh... Crap! The next fight comes in. Huge anti from Harasime. And it finally seems like Ramen is going to just halt them in their tracks. Time to get a taste of your own medicine, they say. They just don't know what to do against this. They're, they're just sitting behind the Abyssa barrier, breaking their barrier, constantly using a halt. Diva really needs to focus on eating that halt, because so far they have lost pretty much every single team fight because of a halt hook combo. They need to stop that in its tracks. Or else this is just going to be, well, or else it might just end like this. Yeah, I think that's why I switch off to the Sombra <laughs> uh, Hanzo play right now. Let's see how this works out for them. We do see Head and Shabli coming out from Ramen right now. They have six alts. It's going to be so hard to push off, but Gohan's going to get. Oh. 
Rums get hacked. It, it seems like this fight might be going into the side of um, Holocaust, but with Wisp falling down, it sort of seems less and less. We see what I like to call a tug of war um, fight right now. Both teams are sort of trying to do whatever they possibly can, but at the same time, both teams are getting taken out at, out at, a, at around the same length. That would give attack a, a pretty fair advantage, but in this case, it, it just doesn't feel like that at all. Yeah, even getting the big stagger onto the Hanzo, this is looking great for Ramen. Ramen, they are, they are currently in a big ult advantage over Heracles. And honestly, like, this this, this specific match looks all Ramen if Heracles doesn't do something big here. They might be able to do something with Nano if they are able to spawn it fast enough. But other than that, Heracles are just going to have to play around these ults that Ramen, that Ramen Renegades just have been stockpiling since the beginning. Yeah, so let's see how this first thing's gonna come in. I Spectre, just watch him to try to jump off. Ana, as both players go in the back line, Hot just gonna be able to get bow, and the ult's not gonna be able to get anyone, so it's already looking big in the of high course, but ooh, see that the picks are coming up a little bit too good. Bo's gonna get rezzed, and he's gonna get a pick as well. As high course falls down one by one, Spice Cecil and Hot Dish are now out of the fight. That's a tank and a healer. Won't be able to take it anymore. Oh, the dragons are sort of botched. Not being able to get anyone not really placed in the correct area. Overtime hits, and it just seems like Holocaust is not going to be able to, you know, sort of redeem themselves for this fight. Yeah, it's re it's it really is unfortunate that Bunker Hog is really just that powerful, and that if you don't play around it correctly, you would just, well, this kind of stuff would just end up happening. It really is unfortunate. As Matt goes to Ramen. It was great. It was great. Hope plays from Gummy and Gohan that sadly just weren't shut down by the Diva enough. Diva, she tried her best, but with a two-second cooldown on her DM, it's become a lot, lot harder to stop this kind of thing from happening. And big play from Gummy again, just swinging his hammer, not caring about what anyone else is doing. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Great plays from both teams. Although, didn't expect Ramen. Ramen picked up their games. We asked for team play, and they gave us team play. Yeah, the bunker is definitely more coordinated than the triple DPS. Like, I think we could just say that without a doubt at this point. Like, they're just they're relying off halt hook combo a lot though, which can which is a really good combo. Don't get me wrong, but at the same exact time, again, it, it can be stopped. You just have to play. You just have to play to specifically stop it from happening. Yeah. But how, of course, they really didn't know, didn't know how to trash that and sort of got trashed themselves. Great play from Robin Renegade. That was some excellent team play, I have to admit. Yeah, most definitely. Excellent team play, like, from Robin Renegade, especially on defense. Attack, it again, a lot of, like, wasted ult potential, but they played defense pretty much the best they possibly can with that comp. Yeah. Of course, they gave it the best, especially on defense. They were able to hold it all relatively well, all things considered. But sadly, Ramen Renegades just, they got it. Yeah, I, I have to admit, just looking at this game made me, like, really happy for Ramen Renegade. I have to admit, you know, we, we did hop on them for that team. But I just had to continue to highlight how good that team play was for that match. That, that was so good. Yeah, most definitely. Definitely better than the Nepal. We could say that. Nepal yeah, definitely better than Nepal. Yeah, but Nepal, it, it was the first map, you know. Maybe they were just a little shaky, you know. Nervous from, you know, just, just some nerves that they had to get out of there. But now they're all ready and ready to win this. Yeah, I, I had to be honest, like, just looking at this, I'm... They seem to be putting in weight, again, switching out players. They're switching out foe. All right, one second. Yeah, they're, they're switching out foe for Udon. They switch, they're putting in um, J-Rod one more time. So definitely gonna be switching out. Oh my god, yeah, Ramen Renegade loves to switch out. Yeah, it seems that they have like specific players for specific maps, probably for like specific roles, you know? I imagine they probably put Gummy in for his Arisa maybe, because I have not seen J-Rod actually run the Arisa. So like, I think that might actually be the possible option. Actually, no. Actually, no, I'm pretty sure J-Rod did run the Arisa on uh, Nepal Sanctum, didn't he? I think so. Oh, I, yeah, I think he, I think he did. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Anyway, take, take, taking a taking a sort of look back, I think that this means I this means that Ramen Renegade is 
two, two oh, so they have two maps down. Yeah. Yeah, I think that means they only need one more win. This is match point for Robin Renegades, and how the Chorus are going to have to reverse sweep if they want to win this. Oh yeah, I would be a little bit scared if I was um Halicorus right now. Yeah, Halicorus. As we're just yeah. So the next map I think is going to be Assault. That means Hanamura, Volskaya, or Temple of Anubis. Well, out of those three, which one's your favorite map and why? Hanamura. Hanamura. I mean, to My be fair, yeah, Temple of Anubis. It's it's just really annoying to push into, and also you uh you forgot Paris as well. But let's be honest, Paris doesn't count. <laughs> but um. And Temple of Anubis, it's just a really hard map to push into. Like, first point, it's very easy to break. On second point, it's hard to break. That, that's kind of the thing with Anubis, and it just makes it an annoying map. Well, Volskaya, Volskaya is a good map, and a lot of people consider it their favorite assault maps. But, you know, I, I just prefer Hanamura. There's a lot of high ground, and really, it's just the most fun of the assault maps. At least in my opinion. Yeah, you know, you shouldn't be hating on Paris, though, not gonna lie. Paris, it, it's just bunker, brother. Like, it's just bunker. It's not fun. I can hear the flashbacks in your voice. Oh god, no. <laughs> Paris. I mean, hey, I mean, whoever people... thought Paris was a good idea. I mean, that's just... I don't know. That was, that was incorrect. Whoever put that in the map... Whoever put that in the map pool was like, man, they must have been on something. Give me some of that, whatever they were on. Not gonna lie. Yeah, I you mean, know... like, Paris... I don't know. It seemed like a good idea. It's just... It's just did not. You know, it's 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 awesome if it was meant to be like a fun map or a meme map. It's definitely not supposed to be in competitive. That's for damn sure. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Ah, uh, if if I, if I could just delete one map, it would totally be Paris. Like, I I don't need that in my life. Yeah, I mean, I I hated Horizon originally. Like Horizon was my least favorite map, but Paris is just it's destroyed any humanity I've had left. Honestly, playing this game. Overwatch, great game, but uh, Paris. <laughs> yeah, and you know, while talking about maps as well, I just, I don't like, you know, it seems like the new maps, you know, I, I might be an OG player, but I just do not like some of the new maps. Like, I don't like Paris. I, I Blizzard World has sort of grown on me, but at the same time, I'm not the biggest fan of it. Yeah. I mean, Blizzard World, like, it's a, it's an okay map. I would kind of put it in, like, the okay section of all the maps, but, like, honestly, the old maps tend to just be the best. You know, they're very well designed, mostly right. cough cough on Nubis, but you know, they're, they're just good maps. Are we seeing a, a widow on defense? Uh, that's a that's an iffy move. Unless I'm gonna be honest, unless Wisp is gonna be going off, I would say that might be the wrong choice, but we'll see, we'll see. As he the, is the Mercy actually pocketing Wisp right now? That's just a weird yeah. play. Not Where really? is he seeing them? I don't know. I've seen that kind of play before, you know, the pocket widow on Anubis. I don't see it that often on Anubis specifically, but it is a legit strat that some people do grant. So we are going to be having a sort of... They're repositioning themselves. They're going... On, they're going the, we do see Ramen running it on high ground. Ooh, the Hulk barely misses, so watch out. Oh, really big Nano right there. Really big anti as we do see the first fight engage. J4 trying to find whoever he possibly can. J Rod doing a lot of damage. So many gonna be able to get the first pick off the frostbite, and that's how you know it's gonna be going really good. Wisp getting able to get you some usefulness out of that sniper rifle right now, but it seems like the damage is a little bit too much coming in for the side of Robin Renegade. Robin, Robin Renegade is getting pick after pick after pick. Doesn't matter if you have Wisp on the line. In fact, I would say Wisp might might have been a little bit of a hindrance right there, not being able to get yeah. that really good tank tank energy. Robin Renegade will be taking first point. Yeah, without a doubt, like, the weakness of Widow on this map and why it's usually not ran is purely because Goats is just really powerful on this map in general, and Widowmaker does pretty much nothing to Goats 90% of the time. Unless Widowmaker is constantly getting a pick every single fight without fail, hitting every shot like the aimbot, it's not going to do good against Goats. Like, that's just how it is, really. But you see Holocaustus, he, they have they have ultimate right now. I want to. Oh, actually no, ultimate goes to Robin Renegade. They have three outs. They're gonna be snowballing this as the first guy comes in. Frostbite is gonna try try to use his ball. No, sorry, wheel of doom, wheel of fortune coming in. Who's gonna get today? He's gonna get J Rod. That's putting back the whole. Yeah, you, you have to wait for J Rod to come back. There's no way you're you're going in without main tank. Yeah, that's that's just straight up a one fight right there. And like Robin Renegades throughout this entire thing have just like they've just been kind of like you know. 
winning mostly off picks, it would seem, but, you know, Heracles, they can play the exact same game. They can win off one single pick every single fight, you know? So maybe that's yeah. what they're planning to do. J Rod is back and they're gonna be they're gonna be going for the right side. I oh really big sleep as we do see Udon pull out rally as well. So they need to wait for J Rod to come back. So they wait they basically a botched rally right there coming in right there. As we do see both alts coming off from Blade and Hot Dish. Oh my god, huge alts coming off from both sides. Shadow doesn't really get anyone as we're now going to, going to what seems to be the pure team fight right now. Ooh, we do see J Rod get frostbite out here, so one person's off for the picking. Nuke comes in. Nuke inbound. Doesn't get anyone, though. But we do see the team of Holly Courses is falling. Bongos are being popped. There's nothing that Holly Courses can really do. As Team Ramen is steeping them like a... No one's going for Bongos. That's what's really bothering me. We, we see them doing so much damage. They're going to snowball on to point. The semi is going to be going to Ramen Renegade unless they can possibly do something about, you know, maybe being able to get a, a large amount of damage really quickly, which doesn't seem to be the case. As the Zarya, you know, Soman... It, it, it's just too good. I mean, it, even with the real Wheel of Fortune coming in from the side of Holly Course, it just maybe with the side, maybe the, with the Wheel of Fortune coming in from, from, from the side of Holly Course, they might be able to do something. But oh my God, the nuke! Oh, it gets Blade. He, looks, he tries to hide. Now it's looking even bigger and bigger and bigger for Ramen Renegade. But oh my God, the stall is is a little bit too good. It's, it's, it's a tug of war right now. It's anyone's game, but it's. Erroring on the side of Ramen Renegade as the Shatter comes in. Now I can say with confidence that this point is going to be going to Ramen Renegade. Yeah, like this is like the definition of 2 CP. Like Ramen Renegades, they could have won this fight a long time ago, and it's actually not over yet. They are still contesting. <laughs> 2 CP, everyone. That's that's all I can say. This is just 2 CP. What what else can you say? Yeah, they have one tick left. Pass? They're doing so much damage. It's 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 so sort of bully right now. They're getting Ramen Renegades bullying, but they're getting bullied at the same time because I swear TCP is so bull. Okay, now we go, and no. that's going to be round one going towards Ramen Renegade with just even under three minutes. Even though Ramen Renegade has been winning that fight since the very beginning, it doesn't matter because Heracles they have been contesting that for like what an entire minute, possibly two minute and that a half. Yeah, like, that's a lot of time they just straight up took off the clock. Like, that's 2CP for you, folks. 2CP. 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 Can't ask for anything better than 2CP. Oh, my God. Yep. So much contesting power. Just so much, you know? Nothing died, and whatever it did die, another one just replaced it immediately. One kill for a defense is two kills for attack. Pretty much. Honestly, this is this is <laughs> there, there's no better definition. Actually, I think there was one definition better. I think uh, there was a game maybe a few weeks ago where it was like a strip five minute contestion on two CP. It, it, it's oh, just oh, my. Oh, those games are the worst. Or oh, how about those kind of games where it's just everyone constantly, instantly capping both points, and then you go oh. to like eight and eight, and it ends in a draw. Those are terrible. Welcome to round fifteen, fifteen. Who's gonna win? Yeah. Oh, we are seeing Wisp again. On oh, now, I I'm an avid player. I'm an avid person to say that. You know, Widowmaker is a attack hero. She should not be used on defense. They're going hard bunker. Yeah, they're running an interesting bunker too. They they might actually be trying to take over the big high ground like right by point for Symmetra. Or maybe like they're playing for them to like dive onto the Bastion and then they just teleport them out. But this is a very interesting comp coming in from Ramen Renegade. Oh, well, that's a really Bop. good place to book Bap, though. Not gonna lie. Yeah, that's probably why they did it. Oh, the damage just comes out. I mean, all you need to do is and then bash and spray into it as Anna's sort of stuck on the other side. Oh, Blade, you got you got straight up halted right back into the Symmetra lasers. Oh my god. It, the damage, I, I think this might be held for all the wrong reasons. Yeah, this is... This is just going to be Scary. really difficult for Ramen, or not Ramen Ring, Data, Heracles to play against. They, they're they just going to have to really rely off DM, hoping to get both the Holt and block Bastion damage so then Monkey can go. It's, it's just going to look quiet, but they're actually on the right side. Hmm. I would have Wisp switch off to Sombra, not going to lie. 
Yeah, same. Honestly. We're just gonna go high ground. As what the what a great transition right now. You did leave your Baptiste behind, although it doesn't seem like anyone's gonna be trying to focus them. The high ground damage is is uh, not good enough as spicy salsa is gonna be falling down. Immortality field goes up as well. The damage is just a little bit too good on the side of Ramen Renegade right now. Oh my god. Yeah, Ramen Renegade, they... I love you. Ramen Renegade, that, that was so dirty. I love it. Ramen Renegade, they they just kind of they completely juked them. Like, they just went to the high ground, and even though Baptiste was left behind, he was able to get up there anyways because of his, well, you know, super jump. Well, actually, yeah, because Yo, of his watch super out. jump. Just kinda... Oh my god. That go falls down. This Baptiste is in such a nice position. You sort of have to focus, you sort of have to send off like a few members of your team to get him. But I think once Baptiste falls, that entire comp might just like fail. Yeah, without a doubt. Like, the only thing keeping them alive is both the Symmetra Teleport and the Fail Save Baptiste Immunity. And if Teleport, like, you can just dive after Teleport disappears. It's not that complicated, you know? Yeah. Here we go. Oh, gets Deco. Wow. Oh, Deco. Oh, that's so unlucky. Watch this. Look at this Sombra. Sombra's bullying. Bap. So Sombra's waiting. She's like, oh, okay. I can wait. I can wait. I just want to get the kill off. But watch this. Watch this. Watch Wisp. Come on, Bap. How do you miss that? Yeah, look at the Baptiste, though. Baptiste is ready to ult the Bastion immediately. Baptiste oh. is going to get hacked. Look at this. Wisp yeah. is waiting for this team fight. Bap, look behind you, please. Oh, no. Magic. He has AirPods in. There it goes. Oh, no. Bap. No, no. He has AirPods in. And he's going to be falling down the Wisp. What a great pursuit right there. Blade. My Zelta and Frostbite all go in at once. Nanoblade goes off beautifully without a hitch. One minute on the clock. Are they gonna be? They're not gonna be able to defend. But oh my god, what a what a great push nonetheless. What an absolute beautiful play from both the Sombra and the Genji. Like they just like they knew for a fact if they got rid of Baptiste, they win it with Nanoblade immediately. So they just had Wisp hack them and Wisp and uh, how Sami was just in such a specific position where it was easy to hack him and he wouldn't have expected it. But they're still trying to save it. Oh! Oh my god! They're still going for it, but Frostbite's gonna get off the pit. Even with the Orisa, it's not gonna do that much as we do see just say, Ali course, they're, they're doing too much damage. There's no real way to take this back. I mean, I would definitely contest it. I would... Th they effectively stopped a snowball happening right there by playing that really well. Actually, they might have yeah. started a new no, snowball. snowball. Yeah, Snowball's yes. completely still possible because they're on EMP and Blade. Like, honestly, that might have actually hindered them because now they have absolutely nothing to stop EMP Blade, oh, especially geez. since they switched. No, no, you're right, you're right. As they come in, I, I expect the Blade to come. Oh, they don't have Nano. They might hold on to Blade a little bit. Whisk. Okay. Yeah. The entire team of Robin Ringan has AirPods in. As what's going to come down, get a huge six person Blade as well as an EMP. What great plays, as there's going to be no room. For two CP contestion in this house. Like I said, there's no point in raiding whatever you can snowball it and instantly win. They can't even contest it in time. This. Beautiful play Complete. from Hard Hard. hard, hard. Yeah, it's a beautiful play from Scoop. both teams. But Ramen's running it as much as I wanted at the work. Holocaust just played so much better. Yeah, they they really did take advantage of second point. You know, like. They just needed time to build up ults. That's all they needed. And once they had ults, they just they just wanted. They team right every single time. Boom, 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 boom. Honestly, like if I was Ramen, I would have saved ults instead of contesting there. Or if I was, or if we were going to contest, don't bother using ults. See if you can bait out ults from them. You know. Oh yeah, stop the yeah, possible yeah. Snowball from happening. Just sure, ultimately. Yeah, all all that ultimately happened was that you contested it. Yes, until it was almost overtime. But at the same exact time, it didn't really help in the long. Because, you know, they just kind of team up with you. Yeah. Ramen Renegade abandoning their days as, a, as their Bastion Symmetra cheese. Feels yeah, bad. Now, when... Yeah, now they're going to be expecting it. That's the thing. Oh, they're definitely expecting it. Look at the team comp that Harus, um, Holocos is pulling off right now. Yeah, yeah this... This really reminds me of Dorado defense, if I remember correctly, but they had a Junkrat and, like, Ash, like, they really seem to like to run that 
DPS duo, which is very interesting, especially in today's meta. Like, today's meta is mostly bunker based, but a Junkrat with that is not seen that often. Oh my god, Deco falls so low right there, almost getting picked up. If that just got woke. Okay, Udon, calm down. Getting off Udon. a little ricochet, ricochet off on Wisp. Yeah, Wisp unfortunately got caught into that trap and just got one shotted. Really, it does maybe be like that sometimes, you know? Wait a minute, where's Baptiste? Oh my, Baptiste is hiding in the rafters. This is. I think this is how you run Baptiste. You just get him in the most random spot you possibly can and hope it works. Yeah, but they seem to know that he's there. So he might have to back Ooh. up. Ooh, oh. Frostbite able to take out Bap right there. Ah, uh, oh, but Frostbite's gonna get taken out himself. But like we said, one kill for attack is like two kills for um, defense right now. As actually attacks a little bit closer, so it doesn't, really doesn't matter. Although, let's be honest, in this day and age, no one dies as be res. Okay, Wisp is coming back to get, to get some big hacks off for this. Ooh, nice I'm pull in as well. As Ramen gets hacked, this enemy seems, seems to be more of a, uh, a really iffy push. Great anti's coming off from Ana. Diego, even though he gets picked off soon, even though there, there's still a lot of damage going in. This could be either side, although it is probably going to be Harco right now. They're doing so much damage. The plays are a little bit too good on the side. Okay, Soman basically saving this push. Wow, okay. Wow, it, it's literally Soman versus the world right now. Soman versus the world! As Bob gets taken out, it's put in, hacked, and Bob gets everything happens, everything happens to Bob. Oh, are they gonna choose to try to contest this? This is, this is what your downfall last game, but this... They don't want to lose this point, as they're, they're barely able to grab it, 99%! They're gonna try to do whatever they possibly can, but they're gonna be falling down to Blade, as they're gonna get snowballed one more time. That is so unfortunate, and look, this snowball is even going to be more powerful because now they have nano as well, and the only thing they have to stop it is a Baptiste immunity, which is just not going to be enough. Oh, a really great wall coming out, but the blaze is going to come out, EMP is going to come out on the, on the wrong side right there. That could have been a little bit better executed right now, but it really doesn't matter. And something's going to happen, and it's happening on the side of Heracross right now. Oh my god, the damage is just a little bit too good right now. Watch out, Robin Dragon, as you're getting completely decimated right now. The clock hits 20, and honestly, unless you can 2CP this, which it's actually, I, I think, that, you know, I'm not gonna talk right now, because they can totally just 2CP two, two this, it doesn't even matter anymore. Cast this curse, man, cast this curse. The CP, the 2CP is just so BS right now, is Hammond hops on, everyone hops on. Of course, the fights have to go on for 5,000 years as we reach over time. It is still looking on the side of team, you know, Harcross, but it just doesn't... Uh, it's it's overtime at this point. I wouldn't really try to contest at all. This is... it's going on, it's going on for a little bit too long. There we go. As the clock... Yeah. as the percentage ticks up, that is going to be yeah. round three. Oh round my three. god, I hate 2CP. Tell me about it, brother. Yeah, but now Robin Renegade is going to have a chance to push that possibly faster. Or maybe around the same time, because they only have 2 minutes 30 at the moment, you know? So, if we, so like, you know, let's see what Robin Renegade is able to pull off here. Let me see, I'm, uh, I'm curious. You 7 rounds, boys? 7 rounds? Honestly, that might happen. Yeah. Can we get 15 points on both sides, please? Oh, please, dude. I wanted to end in a draw as well. That, that'd just be a. Can we get a draw with 15 points on both sides on hour five when we have to do three, two more games after that? <laughs> Ooh, man, I would not be happy at all. <laughs> Heracross running the bunker with some, uh, it would seem on defense. Hmm. Okay, yeah, they really What happened to the Bastion? Let's get the Bastion back. Oh, wait, no. Wrong, wrong team. I want the Bastion yeah. back. It was so good. You just want the Bastion. That's all you I want, brother? I want the Bastion. Just, just give me my fix, bro. I, I, don't, I, I just need a little bit more. Come on. Dude, can we just get, like, six Bastions on one team and see how well they do? That'd be fun. Can we bring back Season 1 um comp, please? Season 1 comp, best comp. Yeah. Ramen Renegade's running Goats a bit saying that. Goats. Hmm. Goats into Sombra, bro. This is season one so much better. You get six Torbjorns. Come on. 
I'd rather cast a game with six Torbjorns than I would cast a, another dang bunker game. As it seems like the the rotation is come up on high ground. I, I just love the rotations that Robin and Renegades does. It's so good, and they're so clean. There was a one hack off, but I, I'd say that you're going to expect yeah. that. Robin and Renegades, like, they definitely have really good rotations. They're definitely moving to the correct places. It's literally just, like, the only big mistake they're making is just over ulting. That's usually what ruins them in the long run. Ooh, we think a halt coming off. We do see the hack come off on a Soman as J Rod's gonna be falling down. <laughs> Yo, we see that you only need to hack the Ryan. Oh, as it does, as it seems like Robin Renegade is gonna be having a hard time trying to win this fight. They might get first take, but I don't think they're gonna get anything more. Or maybe a lot more, as it. They're pulling their own weight right now. Seems like we had, I, I wouldn't call it a C9 from the side of her. I'm gonna call that a C9 because they left that point and they got decimated. In my yeah. house, that's a C9 definition. Yeah, they, they just got off point. I get what they were trying to do, you know, kind of give them a little bit of positioning so that they could get a better position, but ultimately it just didn't matter. Robin and Renegade just, like, they just used the chance button and were able to push in. And now, here's the snowball! Now they're gonna rally, they're gonna try snowballing this. With all their ults, they're gonna shatter. Do what they possibly can to do. This, this immortality feels they're trying to go- Oh, and they- Man! Oh, what's you? Oh my god! The Wheel of Fortune comes out, deals all the damage that they possibly can, and that is going to be a hold! Oh my god! Absolutely massive ults from, uh, Team Harry- Harry Heracles, yeah, Heracles. Using both the EMP, Using both the EMP and Taya in order to win that fight single-handedly. They did also use uh, Valk and Hohog, unfortunately. But Robin Renegades, they only have one minute left and they only have two ultimates. So I they mean, can really go either side. If they can get a really good self-destruct here, I think it can be pretty sweet. But uh, not talking about that, it, it looks it, fishy on the side of uh, Robin Renegades right now as they're... Trying to push in. We definitely see the split push coming in. We see the oh, we see Blade take out Ramen right now, and now it's looking even worse. We do see all all the consecutive ults that you would expect to see in this fight. Soma gets hacked again. J Rod falls extra low. The team play is just not really there. They, when when the nerves seem seem to strike up, it seems like the team play sort of just falls through the cracks with Ramen Renegade. As going on at 10 seconds, it seems like they are going to be losing this map. Yeah. Yeah, there's no way Zenyatta's gonna be able to touch point. This this seems to be a victory for Heracorus. Yep, here it is. This round goes to Heracorus. So if I might, that's one map for Heracorus, two maps for Ramen Ram Ram Renegade. Yes, exactly. So who knows, maybe Heracorus will pull off the amazing reverse sweep. We need the reverse sweep, that's what I wanna see. I wait. Hey, 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 at least we didn't get 15 rounds, okay? Only four rounds, you know, like, all things considered, that's pretty average. <laughs> you know, like, like, you know, all things considered, that was good. So. Again, it was nah. 2 CP, stats really high up, purely because, you know, 2 CP. <laughs> so the, the next map that we have, it, uh, it's a hybrid map, so Eichenwald, Kings Row, and Blizzard, and let's be honest, can they pick anything but King's Row? Is come on, you... dude. Scrim's Row, come on, dude. Come on, how do, you, how do you, like, get King's Row in, you know, a map pool and not pick it? That's like, honestly, you don't do that. I mean, honestly, I like Eichenwald, personally. Eichenwald's a really fun map to watch, especially at high levels. But King's Row, it's the most common map to play. It's a really good map. Probably one of the most well-designed ones, to say the least, you know? It's the OG map. It's the one. It's the one they showed in the first trailer. Yeah, it's it's the it's one of the first maps they really showed us. It was, it was it's one of the most common maps. It's considered one of the best maps of the game, even. So it's just a good map, and we will be going up to Kings Row. So we are getting another swap off here. J Rod is being swapped for Gummy. So I think that means we're going to be seeing Arisa come out for Ramen Renegade. Yeah, definitely. That's why I'd imagine. Oh my god, I'm so ready for King's Row. I just, mm, it's the OG map. Everyone, how do you hate King's Row? Real question. Nobody, nobody hates King's Row, but some people find it annoying that it's like the only, you know, escort map or runoff escort hybrid map anyone ever plays in scrims, you know? It really, 
a lot of teams would just kind of only practice King's Bow, which means they are pretty much useless on something like I can. You know? I mean, wait, think about it, think about it, think about it. You technically you want King's Row, because it whenever you scrim, aren't you playing um scrim bingo? NA scrims bingo? Come on. Oh yeah, I, I actually know what you're talking about. Yeah, scrims bingo. NA scrims, you... dude. I'm sorry, dog, we uh our whole team isn't here. Ah, it's the fifth time today. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah, that's what she's awesome, dude. I wish you could find a picture of it. I haven't seen it in a while. Yeah. Seems like Ramen is taking their time like they always do, but you know, nothing up against them. If they have a team that they want to play. Ramen putting in Gohan no. taking out Kabe, so. Oh bad they dare you take off my man. My oh, man. Rather they're taking, oh rather they're taking hey. out Gohan and then putting in Kabe. My bad. There we go. Where is Carpe gonna have a bunch of internet issues again? Real Possibly. questions. Real questions. They said his internet was crap, but you know, just because one's internet is crap does not mean they're bad at the game. Kape, he's doing his job, he's doing well, so... You know, let's just see what he can do. I wanna see, I wanna see Carpe get them dinks. I wanna see Mama Cree. I wanna see him do that big, big work. Yep, same, honestly. Ooh. And we are right into the game. Let's go. I'm ready. So what do you, what do you expect to come off from these two teams? Um, I mean, from the attacking, more than likely, like, Goats has been really prevalent on this map. And on defense, either Bunker or Goats. It really just depends on the team. And the game is paused. Let's go. Big oof. NA scrims! Nah, I'm joking. <laughs> in a scrims, dude, more like in a tournament, got him. Oh, kidding. Don't worry about it. This is a beautiful tournament. A big oof coming in <laughs> as we wait for the teams to sort of um, fix up a, a, up a little bit of a problem right now. Yeah. And Carpe left the game again. Carpe DC'd. Beautiful. My god nothing but a hmm hmm you know while we're here can we just talk about the icon for halachoras yeah it's just it's just a fish right and their name and their name as well yeah that's like the scientific name for that fish which is interesting <laughs> okay okay so okay seems like it's all fixed up we're gonna be getting back into the game. And we're gonna have Gohan again. So Carpe is obviously, internet is like, nah, nah. Yeah, he's using that, that Burger King Wi Fi, dude. Just not working out for him, really. Nah, he's using that McDonald's Wi Fi. But like, he, he got kicked out of the McDonald's because he was yelling too, too, too loud. So he, ha he has to like sit up behind the dumpster, try to get that sweet internet Wi Fi. Uh, really unfortunate, honestly. Unfortunate. Um, F's in the chat for Carpe, please. I mean, Carpe really needs it, though. I was about to be like, are they are they really running Bastion May? But I was like, oh wait a minute, nah. They just want to push nah. the um the blackboard, don't they? Yeah, most definitely. Now, here of course, they are indeed running goats, somber goats at that, but they are running goats. And actually, are they? What are they actually running them? Hold on. No, no, no. Real not. questions. Okay. They're just scouting. Okay, yeah, I was about to say like. It's what, it, the only thing that the players have on us, they can uh, screw with us when we're casting. Like, what are we going to play? Are we going to play meta? Are we not? Yeah, Ooh, no, it's going to be playing yeah. May. Ooh, I'm, I want to see this now. I'm in, I'm invested. I, I'm even more invested in this game right now. As we just see this. May on, on the King's Row, I have never This seen. actually works. This actually, you got you to gotta cop the team really well. This team has to be perfect every single time you do. Let's see if Unon's able to go up to the test. I mean, expecting uh, some fat walls off from Udon right now as we do see Samra get it there. There is huge walls getting, knocking both tanks off, flying them from their team. Ramen Renegade able to get off Blade and Frostbite. Too bad Spice also wasn't in that group. He is going to have Shatter, but I just don't think he's going to last long enough. Great play. That is what Attack May is all about. I have never seen Attack May on King's Bow, 
and I can certainly say that that's a really good strategy that we've seen. They just walled off like half the team and were able to just pretty much instantly win that fight. Like honestly, just good all around play, especially from Udon. Wait, what's Sama doing? His team up. Wisp, calm down. Calm down, Wisp. Wisp has extreme backline play. I'm loving this aggressive play. Ooh, huge shatter. Oh, but the sleep is really big as well. Both teams are going to walk off their shatter. Both teams, that was, that was a really good play. You had to sacrifice your shatter to save your team, which in, in all honesty, I, I probably wouldn't have done. Yeah, I, I saw... Yeah, that would have been a big play if it worked out. Sadly, you know, it just didn't work out. They were able to keep their Reinhardt alive while the enemy Reinhardt that, you know, saved his team, Gummy. He just died, unfortunately. Used his shatter to save his team. Died. He died a hero. Well, I think if Gummy didn't pop Shatter and he just went to help his team out, uh, I think that would have worked fine because there was no team play to go on with um, Spicy Salsa. There was no, like, initiation. There was no team to continue with Spicy yeah. Salsa. Well, the only thing was that Gummy was really deep in by himself, which is why yeah. Spicy Salsa was able to get away with it. Rally! EMP! Huge! That's going to be a team kill for Holocaust. Well, Holocaust... <laughs> I guess that's just how it goes sometimes, huh? Sometimes you just team wipe immediately. <laughs> oh my god, that was huge. Yeah, god. but good. But the good news is that, well, I guess not only good news from Ryan Renegades, bad news from Ryan Renegades, because currently, of course, they're coming up on four ults still, while, while uh, Ryan Renegades, they only have, well, one at the moment coming up on two, so they're at a whole disadvantage. Mm -hmm. Here we, we see the rally come in from Frostbite. Rama gets hacked, so now they know that the enemy team has Nano. This is where it gets big. I expect the Nano to come off on the gu Gummy or something like that. Now we do have Gohan. We have, like like you said, all it's Gohans and Udons. So it's going to be huge. We do see the Shatter come in both times. Ryan, games, Ryan Mind Games are a little bit too good. But then again, no team initiation, so you don't have anyone to sort of continue that team fight for you as soon as that... Um, Shatter comes down. You see the nano come off on the right heart, but then the damage just really isn't enough. If Frostbite's gonna go down, they all need to go down. Huge antis as well. These plays are a little bit too good as Holocaust is gonna be able to defend. Uh, yeah, like that's pretty shocking, all things considered. And if, like the fact that Holocaust was able to defend even with them losing the right heart on their team and even and even the enemy right heart being nano, like just really good plays from Holocaust. And, like, I would definitely say the big play there was the fact that Deco nanoed Frostbite. And Frostbite was just able to survive forever, just never dying, just being a constant nuisance. Yeah, but I, I, they, they need to do a dry push. That's what needs to happen on the side. Because they're getting hacked so much. Here we go, the huge, um, oh, the, the huge grab! There's no damage on it! And of course, there's gonna be so much damage. What? Reinhardt trying to put his shield down, he should start swinging his hammer. Cause there's no damage coming in when Gohan pops grab. Yeah, there was just not enough damage onto uh, the grab that Gohan had popped. But Blade, even, like, Blade was the same. Blade did not do enough damage in that grab, but then Wisp was able to follow up on it with EMP, and EMP is just honestly the win button. Especially when it comes to GOAT mirror matches, you know? Like, the EMP really is just a big difference. Yeah, definitely. As we do see this next fight come in, both teams rally, so it's gonna be really big. Oh my god, this right here needs to put down a shield. He needs to start stealing some real damage. As we do see the Lucio going, the mind games can't be played right now, Gummy. You need to win this fight. Shatter comes in, it's huge, but the team just isn't there. This is gonna be so hard for Ron Reagan to be able to push off right now. And High Force is able to trip, put a wall block up. Yes, that cart might be being pushed, but at the same time, Team Ron Reagan isn't really getting any real development from this. The grab comes out, everything's coming out from both sides, but nothing is happening. It's a stalemate on both sides, again with Tug of War, but with Rally coming out, that seems to be going onto the side of Holly Corsair's Robin Reagan gets pushed all the way back to spawn. Yeah, that fight, like, it, like honestly, that seemed like all Robin Renegades at the beginning, but then Heracles, they were just able to completely outspace them, just like, you know, completely just running back, walking away from them. And just kind of kiting the ultimates and allowing them to ultimately win the fight. And now, if you look, Wisp has the EMP again. They have Shadow as well to combo with it. While on the side of Lemon Renegade, they, they're only coming up on Bomb Grab combo. And honestly, that could be shut down by a good timing from Hotfish. So, really, this is looking really good for uh, Heracoist. 
Yeah, they're, they're holding this expertly. They got it. Oh, they got it almost all the way. And now it's just sort of seem, seeming like uh, it's, it just doesn't seem to be wanting to go anywhere for Team Ramen. I mean, Hawk Horse is holding this so well. There's just they're going in time after time, but there just isn't any team play there. Like I say, the damage isn't there. Isn't really supporting his teams, but he's also doing so much damage. The alts, like they should just have their alts and do a lot of damage, but Hawk Horse so well. Yeah, Heracle is really all just showing how dominant they really can be. Like, just kind of showing Ramen that, hey, you know, just because you won the first two maps does not mean this is no, you know? Like, really, Heracle is just showing the, like, true skill and color. And look, they have a massive ult advantage again! Like, okay, both teams grab, but there's no damage! There's no, like, initiation! Like, it's getting so infuriating watching Ramen go in Fight after fight after fight, it seems so fruitless to them. And with so such a lousy push length, I mean, it, you're gonna have to question, how is Ramen going to hold this? Ramen, well, I mean, they're just going to have to either hold first point and full hold that, or just hold really aggressive on second point. And that's that's the only option. Because it's because the car is at such a distance that it's going to be hard for them to really, you know, protect it right there, you know? So it's just... It's really going to be a challenge for Ramen Renegades, without a doubt. Yeah, I, I, I just like Ramen Renegades have been playing so well with their team fights lately that they're. Just, I feel like they got a little bit cocky and they might have been reverting back to their or might got got a, little, got a little bit nervous. But like that, they're so, they're so close to this victory. They just need to hold out for like the last stretch. Yeah, I mean, honestly, with Ramen Renegades, it's completely possible they might try to cheese me. You know, like they did it on a new base for a long time, and that might be what they do here. After all, they have to either full hold or hold really aggressive. Yeah, so, unless we're gonna. Nope. All the way. Samba goats. Yeah, I'm like, I wouldn't cheese right now. I think that what they needed was a Sombra. I think having a phone on this team might change how they're gonna play. Yeah. It would seem that it's gonna be a mirror matchup as well, except for the fact that Deco is actually gonna be on the Ana rather than uh, the Zenyatta. Yeah, so, it's definitely gonna be a little bit weird. Yeah, so Ana Samba Goats versus Zenyatta Samba Goats. Let's see which one it will. Let's see which one is better at the Samba Goats. Wisp, uh, Wisp, like, the thing is, Wisp got pretty much EMP every single fight on the, de on the defense. So, really, unless Bo can keep up with that kind of pace, this might just go to Wisp, in my personal opinion. Yeah, I, I really want to see Ramon Renge get that team play out, but at the same time, I really want um, Holly Chorus. I want to see them pull up, because I see how good Wisp is. Digo gets hacked in the beginning, beginning of this fight, though, so I'm you know, really confused about how this fight, first fight's going to go. I want to see team. I want to see this team play coming for Ramen, but it just seems like it's going to be so difficult as both tanks, both Reinhardts fall down in the first five seconds of the fight. And now it's really looking forward to how well the supports can play, as they're all just getting picked off by uh, Horror Course right now. And I just don't think that Ramen Rang is going to be able to hold this. They, they're having so much trouble. Yeah, like, even whenever the fight was relatively even, like, they just, they weren't able to, like, Ramen Minigates, they just weren't able to go in. Like, they they just couldn't do anything. Like, their rig was hacked from the Samba, and... Whatever Briggs hacked is just kind of dead, and Bo getting picked off. Whoa, that's a big stagger. Yeah, it's a huge stagger, and it's not looking very good with such with the such short distance that this cart needs to go in basically six minutes. There's, oh, I want to say, but it doesn't seem to be any light for Robin Renegade right now. Despite starting up, it's finally getting some heat. Gummy is hacked, there's no shield. He's gonna go aggressive to just try to counteract all of this. Shatter comes in, but we do see Transcendence coming in to save it right now. Spicy also has been able to get pick on the Udon, so it is a 6v5 right now. Uh, it's such, the grab comes in, the Reinhardt's hammer comes in, the hack comes in, the, the, the counter hack comes in a, a little bit too late, in fact. Sort of a botched alt right there as this Oh, it's getting so close. I think Ramen Renegade only has one chance to hold this, and they don't have any else to back it up. Yeah, the only thing Ramen Renegades can do is grab and Lucio B, and, they, and they'll barely even be able to touch the car in time while uh, Heracles, they're coming Actually, up they're not. They're not as... They're not sure to take out Lucio right then and there. Holocaust able to pull 2-2, match point. We're now on the tiebreaker, everyone. 
Heracles, they might just pull it back. Or or maybe my Renegades will finally decide that no, enough is enough and they win it all. Who who win it all? This is this is gonna be a good series. Final tiebreaker now. We've seen both these teams go all the way. We've seen the ups and down of both spicy uh, of spo of both uh, um Holocorus and Ramen Renegades. So and I'm really excited to see how this tiebreaker is going to end up. I wonder what map they're gonna choose. I don't really know. I I've never seen the, the map pool go to um Yeah, they're they're the first fifth um fifth fifth map map match too. I'm really ready I don't even know the map pool for um oh it's Busan. It's Busan. Oh, okay, interesting. Yeah. Huh? I don't see Busan as a tiebreaker that often. Usually, it's like Li Jong Tower or oh, what's the other one? Nepal? Eh, whatever. But we need fast of... map. We need fast maps for tiebreakers. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, but Busan. Oh this is gonna be interesting. Don't do see. I wonder how this is gonna end up. This is um, we we're getting more. J Rod for Gummy, Soman for Poe. Yeah. Now, po. honestly, Busan is like a very like it has a lot of variation on what you can run on each and every map. In all honesty, like it, it's really interesting because on something like Mecha Base, you could run something like Goats or Snoats or Samba Goats, something like that. You know, just heavy goats. While so on something like you know, I don't remember the name, but the Drum Map, it's not as goats heavy. It's actually usually triple DPS or even dive in certain cases. So it's just, mm -hmm. it's a big variety, it's a big variety, honestly. So I'll be interested to see what each uh, team runs here. Definitely, you know, at least the tiebreaker map is in Paris. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, like, honestly, any 2 CP map being, you know, tiebreaker is just, ugh, ugh, you know? Oh my god, okay, so... Seems like we are getting ready for the last match. The only and first team to be hitting the fifth match in this season. Or actually, I think the last two seasons. So, ooh. Hmm. Really sort of hype for this. You know, it's it's all because Ramen Renegade, their names aren't all noodle dishes. That's that's 100% reason why. Obviously, come on, Michael. I think Ram Renegade is Udon on the team because if Udon's on, the team, I expect Udon to to be running May on both sides. Yeah, Udon seems to be a really good May player, like just really using the wall effectively, allowing his team to just kind of follow up on it. And that seems to be where mostly you know Ram Renegade has been most powerful in just you know following up on the May or running heavy bunker. You know their goats game doesn't seem to be as powerful. Ah, it's powerful, you know? Ramen Renegade needs May to win, confirmed. <laughs> Dude, May's OP, come on. <laughs> May's OP, May needs buffs, let's be honest. I need May in the meta. <laughs> May in the meta? Uh, God, to be fair, if May was in the meta, mm, that would probably just make was... even more meta. Oh, yeah, it, oh, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> so, like, you know, are you sure you want those May buffs? I want those May buffs, so I'm not gonna back off on it. If, <laughs> okay. if they buff me, if they buff me, I 100% tell you in a matter of five hours. Jeez, dude. I am the best May main to walk on this earth. Oh, is that so? It is 100% no. so. Not, not at all overly confident, my guy. Sponsored by G Fuel. Not sponsored. Well, actually, Speed Lemon kind of sponsored them himself, considering it pretty much all that guy drinks. <laughs> As he comes into the first fight, Udon not playing May, but playing Sombra. Oh, what a great jump on the deco right there. That's gonna leave him sure for a huge opening with without an Ana, without that anti that leads to huge possibilities right now. We do see a little bit of a skirmish and attack squad on the here, but just without the Ana and, and without that really direct healing, it just seems gonna be seems to be so difficult to actually do anything. Look at this! I mean, like, Hot Dish takes out Harsume. I, it just seems to be going up. It's a what I would like to call a sort of tug-of-war game right there. And even though Digo fell down first, seems like Hars... Halichosis is going to be taking the first yeah. point. Halichosis, they, they really won that purely because of the comp difference between the two teams. 
Dive is just not that good against uh, goats in general, which really just put him at a massive disadvantage here. And the thing is, it can work as long as they can farm, as long as like you know they can farm that EMP fast and just as long as they farm EMP fast and you know at least faster than Wisp can, then they can completely win this. Definitely, as this next fight takes up, you do see. An ult coming in by the Mercy Soman able to take off Frostbite really early game, but the Shatter's a little bit too big. Oh my god, Soman's doing a lot of damage right now. Maybe they should have just created the entire time as he's taking down every single little squishy that he sees in his face. Hearts me. Also getting a nice boop, you know, bringing us back to the good old days of first, second map with the big boops. And there we go. So it seems like Robin Renegade has taken the point to second. Yeah, dive is a lot better on this map whenever you win the initial engagement. Because look now, now the monkey could just go on to that high ground and maybe diva as well. Massive but, like, leave. Yeah, it, honestly, it just allows for the dive to really just dive whoever they want across the entire map. And uh, and the McCree is an interesting choice, but oh, oh that that's what I want team play with. That's what go on. Udon, Udon EMPs, Gohan throws bomb straight in there, gets three kills. That's what I, that's what I talk about. Team like. massive EMP bomb, just completely shut down, just completely shut them down, like instantly. Just, just great, really. Now, the thing is, like, there's not much to really even say about that team fight. They, they just completely outplayed, played them. They just bomb EMP them. You know? We have so many alts coming in from the side, from the side yeah. of Polycarus. Look at those. Yeah, Look at that. Basically six alt alts. Yeah, Heracles, like, if they don't win this, I'll be shocked, to be frank. I mean, as long as they don't group up, the scrab's gonna be basically useless. They, they can't pop how, how, how many ever else they want. They're popping so many, and I would just sort of go in for a dry push right now, try to pop, try to sort of force them to pop as many alts as they possibly can, could test point for as long as possible, and that seems to be exactly what they're doing, as Wiss is gonna be pushed straight off the point. Grab's gonna activate as well, and they're, they're, they're bunkering through this. Like, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Five alts? I mean, four alts for pulling, like, literally the point? That's, that's huge. Especially considering the fact that, like, Blade did not need to grab that Lucio Samba at all. Because to be frank, they, they probably would have ran away. The fight was already won. They had capped the point. There was no way they could save it. But now, currently Wisp has that EMP, and they even have that Shadow to combo with it if they choose to. And, like, honestly, this this fight is looking like ramen. We're not, yeah. This fight is just looking heavy. For, uh, Heracles. Heracles. Yeah, here we have the first ult coming in from the fight. Oh, huge EMP with the shatter as well. The damage is just too much as Halitorus is probably going to be taking this first map. I mean, this first round. Like, I guess it's taking a map. It's kind of both, really. It just depends. But, like, yeah, Heracles, they just, like, honestly, they really did play well there. Even with like the overabundance of ults on that fight, they were still able to win it ultimately because of the e EMP. And that just shows just how powerful of a hero Samba really is. And the fact that like, you know, they never switched off dive despite the fact dive usually has a pretty big disadvantage against goats mm -hmm. is, is probably the main reason why they lost it. It can be done on that map, but at the same time, not really if it's goats. Because yeah. goats just shuts you down. Now, Halichors, the, the, the palms are sweaty, their knees are weak. If they can win this, if they can, they can win this round, they win the game. Yeah. Mom's yeah, the, I, I think I smell mom's spaghetti somewhere. <laughs> As... Heracles is coming with that Samba, uh, with that Samba goat, while, uh, Robin Renegade is coming in with the, with the quad DPS. Hmm. Okay. Quad DPS, let's see how this works out. I haven't seen this in so long. And I'm so excited to see this play up right now as Udon's trying to deal with every damage he can. We do see Hammond dealing with... We, we basically see Hammond in the back line, Udon in the front line. If they can sort of cleave the, the, the two apart, then they can definitely win this round. And it seems like it's going to be working for them. They're going to get two early picks off, and they're going to sort of snowball it off of there. Unless they're not going to grab point. There we go. Yeah, definitely, like, just... That was just a massive advantage in comp, in honesty. And Wisp, now luckily for Ram and Renegades, Wisp was not able to gather that much EMP charge off of this. So really the only ult, ult actually the only ult that are really going to be coming up is maybe Hammond and maybe Barrage from the side of Ram and Renegades. So like mm -hmm. this, this fight is looking really heavily in the favor of Ram and Renegades. 
Yeah, as we do see the Winston jump in, all the Rexif dive sort of try to collapse. Ramen's gonna fall down, so that's first pick. That leaves everyone else to open, that leaves Gohan open. Udon, if he wants to brought, he should probably brought now. And J Mark falls down. It might it might have been theoretically in the side of a Ramen, but Holic is gonna take that right out of their hands. Yeah, Heracor is just honestly like great like a great dive executed by Heracor. It's like they just they just kind of dove onto the Messi immediately, allowing which pretty much was the which was literally the only source of healing, which just equals a one team fight one hundred percent of the time if you're battling quad beats. So now now Heracles they're coming they have EMP, which you know can really just shut down anything they throw at it. You know. Yeah, all we need need to go for is ramen. Yeah. And huge GMP coming out, going for all, getting almost all the DPS except Soman. The damage is exquisite right now, but Wisp does Wisp and Frostbite do fall down. So I feel like what they need to do is they need to collapse onto um, Mercy. Yeah, they're using a lot of ults in order to win this. They, yeah, Ramen Minigames did not need to use that many ults. They did not need all those DPS ults there. It's definitely think, erased. Yeah, they need to pop a single ult. Yeah, they yeah, Ramen Minigames, they they used so many ults and now and well yeah, now I have a course they they have a big ult advantage. You know, Ramen Minigames, they have pretty much no ults except for maybe Hammond ult, but honestly, that doesn't really matter. Hammond ult's not going to make a humongous difference here. Yeah, we do see Frostbite and her love for teen men as she rallies her right into their Spicy is going to be starting it off with a single pick as J Rod is soon to fall down. It seems to be a back and forth, but I just don't think that the quad DPS is stable enough. You know, it, it, it just can't last. Quad DPS, it's good as long as the enemy team is either mirroring you or playing goats. But honestly, they're, they're running dive, which is probably a really good choice against quad DPS, and they're just capping point. Although, Ramen Renegades, they do have the uh capture point advantage but at the same time they are, well they're also coming up on a big ult advantage as well mm -hmm. so really this could be either side's game you know it just depends on how the ult the ult it, honestly this all relies off how wisp uses their emp yeah i think wisp is still needs solo emp but here we are watching we need to keep an eye on the wisp she she's looking for mercy she doesn't hit though only getting go chan is the, the bottle are only gonna get Ochi and I see what they tried doing there, but it just didn't work out We are gonna see the Hammond trying to fling himself around doing every possible damage you can Ramen trying to heal up her Farah Udon you better watch out because the enemy team really doesn't want you even on that point I don't think it's really gonna matter for Ramen Renegade as they are taking the point 90, 93 against 81 there is where the only one team fight left to decide who is going to win this round Honestly, maybe not even a full team fight. They might not be able to touch point in time as a full team they did switch to heroes like a touch point, such as Hammond, and you know, they switched to a few different heroes to touch point faster, but that might not even matter because they're staggering onto point. Yeah, but that's a pick off on the ramen in the first place. That's gonna be huge. No more healers. They should keep on point and stay on point. This is gonna get a as all is gonna fall down. Yo, the suspense goes up, killed off right there as Team R Ramen Renegade is holding strong. Yeah, ramen Renegades, like, you know. Even with like the bit of a botched like you know ult usage here and there, like they were able to pull it together, and currently they are only battling. Is this battling control two CP? People. Question mark. There control we go. Two CP man. No, it's Hammond actually. <laughs> so control hero. Is, is this Hammond? Is this Hammond at JPEG? Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Yeah, but. Like Ramen Renegades, they had a bunch of botched ultimates. They they used all they definitely over ulted a lot, allowing Wisp to like really get his EMP mut a lot. But the good news about quad DPS is that they're always spread up. So the combo they kept going for, which was EMP bomb, would not be that effective because they would either get out of the way of the bomb in time because they're just so split, or it would only get one kill. Ultimately meaning that it was kind of a waste of an ult. So really like, I get what they were trying to go for there, but they probably shouldn't have had such a reliance off EMP bomb. Instead of probably relying off even solo EMPing the uh, Mercy and then just diving there. Mm -hmm. First thing is going to start off, and I definitely, yeah, I would have really preferred if they solo ulted that Mercy. 
They were trying to, they just weren't able to get up. Udon's gonna get pushed off point. Caught up with the Zarya. Zarya better watch out because you do not want to be soloing, 1v1ing a Mei at any point in life. But, you know, she wasn't really 1v1ing right there. As Robin Renegade is slowly being picked apart for this first fight. Yeah, like. Definitely, like, good Samba play. Like, Samba was able to get the early pick onto the wig, and even though they had gotten a pick onto... Uh, who was it? Was it Lucio? I think it might have been Lucio. I don't remember, but... They got an early pick onto somebody well, but ultimately, Brig is a much, like, bigger thing. Like, if you get rid of Brig and Goats, like, that's pretty much, like, the second most important thing, because that's the thing that keeps Ryan up, you know? Yeah. We're well, gonna see this as it comes in. A huge stun! Great shatter coming in from Spicy as they just sweep up the entire team. Yeah, Spicy Salsa just really, just really just kind of carried that one. I think we know what play the match is. No, <laughs> that, that was huge. Yeah, that Wisp coming up on EMP and uh, Marvin Renegade, they, I'm kind of surprised they didn't actually, run, they're actually winning Doomfist now, but I'm kind of surprised they didn't run the May in all honesty, because this is a great snow. I don't know, I find that really interesting. But let's see. Oh, they're actually switching to two, two, two now. Yeah, they're 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 just trying to reset their comp. Yeah. So I can understand. As the clock hits fifty, this is they brought this down to the last game, nay, the last round. As what a great! If they're not gonna start the, if they're not start, start the fight, they will. As Spicy Salsa Wisp go in. He pops the EMP. Does a huge amount of damage. If you're not gonna start the fight, they will. Yeah, like, most definitely, like, just a massive EMP from Wisp, pretty much just completely shutting down that fight. And look at Ramin Renegades, they have absolutely no ultimates except for Shadow. Like, j -Rod is going to have to, like, just carry this specific fight. Or else they might just lose it. Ooh, but the Shadow just doesn't hit anyone, he tries, but just no connections. Last round of the last game coming down to Ramin Renegade. Able to pop a little bit, able to get Spicy Rod out as all are sort of getting popped off. They're not gonna they're gonna hold on Nano, which I think is a great choice right now. Pull him up to 94. If they can get 99, that would be ex excellent. And seems like that's exactly what they're gonna be getting. 99 with the ult advantage. This is looking really iffy for Ramen. Yeah, Ramen Ramen, like they had great plays there. They were able to pick up the Reinhardt like immediately and even ate the grab from Blade. But sadly, like like you know, Heracosis, Heracos now. Uh they like they still have just such a massive Ooh. ultimate. Edge. The dragon comes in, switching off the teams off as Udo's able to get a single Great dragon, great zoning, and they're gonna be able to sort of snowball this into the next fight. Udon really carrying this fight right now. But just so you know, it's like, you can't really put a, a clock on this. Four alts, five alts coming in from Team Holly Kosis. This is going to be so difficult to try to defend. Yeah, like, literally, uh, Ramen's only chance of doing this is just to rely off of, like, Viva Bomb or maybe even Udon just popping off his Doom Space. That's the only way they're going to win this. Yeah, Rally comes out. J-Rock gets hacked. Done. He's going to fall. He falls down. That's going to be the first fall down. As well as Deco, so you better watch out. You better... Because this is going to be huge. They're going to fall down. That means that there's no Nano High Dash. Tries to, tries to do whatever he possibly can by bringing down that beat. For giving the team as much shield as he possibly can. But with the damage coming in a little bit too slow too soon. Ooh, this is looking really iffy with Udon falling off map. Wisp taking up a kill as well. Only two people versus the entirety, almost the entirety, of Ramen. is just looking so... It's teetering on the edge. Will Brit... Will Brick be able to take down this Reinhardt? Will Holly Chosen be able to even do this? 77, the EMP comes in. That's huge. Four people. Spicy Salsa is going to be falling down. And so get even more iffy and if you're by a second. As Udon and Udon all fall down. I'm afraid to say, but I'm also happy to say that this round, to the down to the match, down to the round, down to the map, is going to be a win for Holly Chiros. Holly <laughs> Chiros? Holly Cheerios? Hey, let's go! Holly Cheerios, can we get some Cheerios up in here? The most difficult to pronounce name in this org. Holly Chorus, like, really played well. They they definitely deserved this win, especially for the performance on Mecha Base. Look at Spicy Salsa just completely decimating Ramen. Ramen, like, oh, just absolutely beautiful. Anyway, this has been oh my god! This is a, what a great game. I, I I I can't bring it down to the last game, to the last map, to the last round. What almost the last percentage as well? It was almost ninety nine ninety nine. 
but it, it just barely wasn't. Um, this has been, uh, I have been your play-by-play -play caster, Bite Me, and this has been Fuku, the color caster. Yep, I'm the color caster indeed. <laughs> That is me. Thanks for watching. <laughs> yeah. That is me. Yeah, uh, any, any last, any last words, Fuku? Uh, I mean, it's been great. I like. To, this was a great game. I enjoyed casting it. Uh, yeah. I hope to cast more games like this in the future. Come to Revolution. <laughs> Make sure you come in next week. Anyway, I'm gonna pull. I'm going to flag off the soldiers, so he can give you the. Okay, well, I lost you there for a second, but uh, anyways, uh, thank you guys for coming out and watching our first uh, first stream. Uh, we had a couple a little setbacks, technical difficulties here and there, but uh, things will become a lot smoother going in the future. Um, I want to thank uh, our casters for coming out here and doing a pretty damn good job for, uh, I think this is Bite Me's second time, if I, yes. if I remember correctly. Yes. And uh, Fuku Mass uh, has uh, cast it for us like once or twice. Like It had to be I have, like, season two, right? I have actually never casted for uh, the original Nevermore before. Um, I was a recruit, but I never actually got a chance to do casting because uh, all the opportunities were taken by other people before I was online. So it was just unlucky, really. Well, but hopefully yeah. uh, you get a little more lucky going on in the future then because... You guys, yeah, uh, for uh, for not having any uh, experience with each other, you guys did a pretty damn good job. Thank you. Well, That's really appreciate very much. Well, uh, congratulations. Uh, to, I'm just gonna call him Hallie because I'm gonna butcher it myself. Yeah. <laughs> for uh, for the win today. Um, everybody, uh, keep an eye out on the announcements channels, the seasons channels. Uh, we'll be. Uh, announcing all the games coming up and uh, all the scores, so uh, we're super excited to get everything underway. This has um, been a really good first game coming into our new organization, Revolution Esports. Um, thank you everybody for who followed. Um, unfortunately, there can be no subs until we get affiliate, which hopefully will be very shortly. That way we can. Um, start throwing some money at our teams and uh, start throwing money at our casters as well who, uh, who make the stream at least, I would say at least 25% of what it is. I mean, I, I hope people are here to watch the teams, but God knows that casters make it a little bit more entertaining. Um, anyways, uh, that's, that's all I have. Um, maybe a little heads up or a little uh, sneak peek where we're going to be having a um, maybe a little get together with the leadership and maybe doing some kind of, uh, questions and answers possibly coming up soon. Um, so w watch out for the announcements for that and, uh, hopefully see you guys next, next match, next, next pugs, next, whatever is going to be coming up. Um, I'm just going to stop rambling on and bid everybody a good night because, uh, it is now 11 PM and... That was a very, very long matchup. Hmm. All right, night, everybody.